What's up, Sickle Cell? We're here with this Dr. O, and the grind never stops. And today, I want to talk about working from home with sickle cell disease and what's that like. And I want to talk about my experience working at home and then my experience working at a pharmacy as a pharmacist and just explain how those work conditions play a role in my life and sickle cell. I used to work as an intern in, in Boston, Massachusetts for about uh, two to three years. Then I transitioned into working as a pharmacist in Philadelphia, where I worked there for about like three, two to three years. And when I was working as a pharmacist in, in Rite Aid, I was working 12 hour shifts, um, sometimes just non-stop like like i'm talking like four to five days in a row and although i was making good money cry frankly uh it put a lot of stress on my body and on top of that i was working with people who didn't really appreciate the amount of work i put in and sometimes i'll be understaffed and i would literally be the only for her, only person working at a pharmacy so i would be the cashier i would be taking phone calls and and I would be delivering medications and checking prescriptions and just doing everything all at once. And as y'all can imagine, it, it, it can get pretty stressful. Um, uh, it got so stressful, honestly, that most of the time I worked there, I didn't even take lunch breaks. Like, I just normalized not having lunch because I was so busy. So, I actually have one particular story where... Um, I, after work, after this story, I kind of realized, okay, maybe I, I I should be looking for something else because, um, essentially, I started working overnight for a, a couple weeks because my logic was, uh, you know, working overnights. One, it will be easier because it's quiet; no one comes into the pharmacy when it's it's, it's night. And two, you know, you're gonna pay a little more. So I, that was why I chose to work overnight, and. And, and and I was right, it was easier, but unfortunately, my body is so used to sleeping at a specific sleep schedule that I found it myself, I found my body like getting pretty tired during the day. And as I continued to work overnight, I've noticed that I was getting, I got a crisis. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, Dr. O doesn't usually get crises, you know, um, it's been like, I think from at that time, it's been like two or three years since I got a crisis. So I've noticed that since I started working from home, specifically overnight, that's when the crisis is started to happen again because I was overworking myself. And so I said, I can tell sickle cell warriors, my experience working at, uh, at a retail pharmacy, although I don't regret it, um, it, w it was stressful. You know, I didn't know how stressful the job was until I left and started working from home. So I also want to talk to y'all about what my work from home experience has been like and just kind of give y'all a quick comparison of the two and why I believe working from home is great for people with sickle cell. I've been working from home for four years. And so I can say I can speak to this pretty well now that I've been doing this for a long time. And for y'all who don't know, I'm sure I know every time I meet people, people are like, you're a pharmacist and you're working from home? What does that look like? I didn't even know you can do that. I barely knew I can do that either, honestly. So I'm just blessed to even have come across um, the gig and the job. And just to explain what I do, uh, as a pharmacist, I make consultations and phone calls to, to people with diabetes. I do consultations and something called prior authorizations where essentially I'm working on my computer and approving medications to for people to use or denying medications for people to use. And then um, I also make phone calls to people um, about that, to, to talk to them about their medications and educate them on, on their health. And so, you know, those are some of the day-to-day -day tasks I do as a pharmacist. And, you know, overall, working from home, is a great experience. Uh, I love working from home for so many different reasons. One is drastically less stressful. Uh, two, uh, you can take breaks when you feel like it. Uh, you know, um, 
when I was working at Rite Aid, I literally had to stand up for 12 hours straight all day. Like I could like I couldn't sit, I couldn't do anything else. Um I had to stand up, unfortunately, unless like I caught up on prescriptions. But for the most part, I was standing up for the whole day. Over here, you know, you can sit down, you can relax, you can take breaks when you want. Um, and there's a lot less stress. Another thing is when I was working at Rite Aid, in addition to working 12 hours a day, I was also driving like 30 minutes to the job and 30 minutes back. So that was like an extra hour of work. Now that I'm working from home, it's, I don't have that commute. And so that also saves a lot of time and a lot of stress. And also, honestly, just working from home, like the dynamic of it, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm at home, but it just, it's just a lot less stressful. Like, I don't know, maybe because there aren't people physically pressing you. I don't know what it is, but I think just being in the comfort of your own, being able to listen to music, you know, be with your loved ones. And because it feels there's a lot less pressure on me, it's, it's more enjoyable. And so in regards to my health, my health with sickle cell disease, I've also noticed that I, because I put a lot less stress and tension on my body, I definitely do not have as much crises. And I would like to contribute that lack of crises to my overall self-care of what I do. But I also think uh, working from home contributes to my my overall health um, and not having crises as much. Yeah, sickle cell warriors, if you have sickle cell disease and you're currently working in a position, a job that you may not like or find comfortable, or you feel like it might be too physically strenuous on you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of working from home, and I, I recommend it. You know, I, I think it's, it's a lot less stressful. Um, a lot of these work from home jobs also pay just as well, honestly, may, might be even more depending on what industry you're in. And is this a lovelier experience being at home? I have a lot more flexibility and freedom to do as I want, which I really value. So, Sickle Cell Warriors, I'm curious. Do y'all work from home? Um, if so, do you like it? And if you don't work from home, would you like to work from home? Anyway, Sickle Cell Warriors, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you're interested in consultations you can click the link in the description below to set up an appointment with me and uh thank you for watching y'all have a great one see you next video bye